this kitchen forms the front line in a battle against an invader. Restaurant chef Hari Pulapaka cooks a dish made with lionfish. We want to eat these things because they're devastating our native species. Lionfish prey on around 50 other species and damage fragile coral reefs. They have venomous spines, so must be prepared with care. But Pulapaka is one of numerous chefs who see a role for themselves in controlling the species. Lionfish, not having any natural predators, eats whatever it wants. And like humans, given the chance, it's going to eat delicious stuff itself. And so it tastes delicious in the process. Florida wildlife officials have declared open season on lionfish, even producing videos explaining how to catch them. The U.S. Geological Survey says releases from pet aquariums could be a possibility for their introduction to U.S. waters, where they became established about 15 years ago. Lionfish numbers have since exploded, spreading throughout much of the Caribbean in just five years. As the hospitality industry does its part to tackle Florida's lionfish problem, researchers here at Nova Southeastern University are looking into the issue too. But they say their findings so far are not encouraging. They're pretty hypoxia tolerant. Which is really surprising. They've found the species can thrive in an astonishing range of environments, from oceans to fresh water. This experiment appears to show lionfish can even survive with relatively little oxygen. This has very real implications if they are able to tolerate these hypoxic conditions. They could be very well found throughout estuaries all along the Atlantic coast. We knew that it, they started here and then spread outward that way. That adaptability is hindering efforts to halt their spread. Lionfish often live in difficult to reach habitats and have to be caught by divers with spears instead of traditional nets. The U.S. government recently unveiled designs for lionfish traps to get around the problem. We'll never get rid of lionfish, but if we can control that population to minimize that impact on the native species and habitats, I think that's the ultimate goal. Meanwhile, Chef Pulapaka says the relatively small amount of meat on each fish keeps the price high. How are you? But he predicts demand will increase as American palates grow accustomed to these spiky interlopers. Steve Mort, CGTN, Fort Lauderdale, Florida.